Welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a look at Ghetto Dexter's latest ship on the lineup review. So first of all, what is the name of the ship? This one is the Death Wish. The Death Wish. Yes. Lovely. What are the, what's the length of this thing? 800 on the nose. 800. Good, good. So we're going to take a quick look around it and please tell us more about it while I'm doing that. Okay, it was just more or less made to be a uh, nomadic mothership. Um, it, it was designed to pretty much be a home ship uh, for um, my fleet. Uh, I'm sort of nomadic when it comes to building. Good, good. Uh, everything that I, uh, pretty much everything on this ship was uh, designed uh, specifically for this ship. All the turrets, everything is uh, all designed as I was building the ship. Um, it's all being built together. Yeah. So uh, the ship is just as complete as the turrets are, more or less. The front part of it, where the main cannon is, I tried to make like a uh, holographic effect. So if you move around, it sort of looks like a. Um, the people to an eyeball and it will follow you with the uh, the uh, purple granite. I have a large uh, cryostasis area on the inside. It was more or less to be like a uh, uh, an arc. So it has uh, in meta ways it would be you know like the uh, sea vault for an entire civilization. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I like that I, cannon at the front. That's a nice design. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I'm just building as I go, and some of the designs change, so I haven't fully skinned everything completely. Uh, I remember last time you seen this ship, uh, you didn't like the elevators, so I actually turned those just to an, into drop tubes to go down to the escape pods, and I put in a fully automated elevator system. Um, which is a seven floor push button. Cool. Nice. Well, I'm going to take a quick scan through the insides. Has it got a jump drive? Yes, it has multiple. Lines. All right, I charge it up. Charge one of them up so you're ready. So obviously it's still not completely finished, but with a massive ship like this, that's not oh, yeah. common. I've been, I've been completely building this ship on this server uh, for about a month now, legit. So. Right. So this is, is the first time it's uh, I've actually got it brought in free. And it is massive. So we're just taking a scan down the inside. I have uh, about uh, one, oh, wait, let me check the uh, power storage, I'm trying to finish charging the jump drive. Um, a total power storage of uh, 1.2 billion, uh, a power recharge of 17 million, uh, 18 million at 17.99, and 40 million uh, shields. Nice. Nice docking for your uh, turrets as well. It's nice. Yeah, I actually I listened to what you said. You could put one block below the uh, core, but nobody does it. And yeah. I decided to go with that plan, and I made a flush mount all my uh, all my turrets. I actually have hallways going from all the main turrets yep, into I'm the living that. areas. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing that. It's nice, and it does make a big difference as well because there's no there's no gap. So your turret, instead of sticking half block up, it sticks half block down, which takes away the line of sight. They can just pop your uh, turrets off with one hit exactly. to the core otherwise. Once the shields are depleted, of course, yeah, yeah. It's really nice, really nice. I'm loving the lighting style where you've uh, allowed the light to bleed through in a lot of places on the ship. Thank you. Did you get a chance to see uh, the uh, main logic computer in the middle? No, I did not, because I'm just skimming, you see. We oh, don't no have time problem. to look at everything, but I think I might have found... No, I found a storage area. Well, if you hold F8, you'll see it. There's some cool trailer there. Yeah. Look for all where all the logic lines run to and we'll meet the computer. Okay. 
interesting. Yeah, it's more or less like the nervous system of the ship. Uh, just like what I was doing on this car, where you can tell damage on it, but the yeah. ship is a lot bigger, so it requires more computers. So basically, the door will close or open if there's that, if there's depending on the uh, depending uh, on it existing. Yeah, with the uh, with the little model ship, if there's damage in that area, the door will open and the little red light on the inside will flash if there's internal damage in the internal section of the ship. Got ya. Interesting concept. So it's like a live damage preview. We're not going to explain how it works, but it's damage detection. Yes. Okay. And it will actually change the 3D model of the ship in his ship dependent on where the damage is. So he's got a visual display. So that's bad if you just see them all open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very bad. But yeah. So there it is, guys. Right, get ready to jump. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you all next time.